threading correctly, we need to make sure that the foot is in the upright position. So um, your foot goes down, and your tension disc closed, your foot comes up and your tension discs open. Let's look a bit closer at that. So let's look at the tension discs on your machine. So the tension discs are here and the foot is in the upright position. So the discs will be wobbly, which is fine because that means the tension discs are open and that's how you should be threading it. If I put the foot down, what will happen is the discs become tight and they're no longer wobbly. So your thread won't go into those tension discs. And that's when you'll get a problem, when you'll get the looping underneath if your thread's not in the tension disc properly. So make sure that when you're threading, the foot is always in those, the upright position and these discs are always loose. I'm going to thread the machine now. So I'm going to go round this top thread guide, just here, and then round this bottom guide and then across and then down through those tension discs. So my foot's up. So I can go to the left or the right of the discs. It doesn't matter which side you go, as long as you're going into those discs. When you've gone into those discs, what you can do is holding this right thread here, you can pull it backwards and forwards as though you're flossing um, to make sure that thread has gone into those discs. The next thing we're going to thread is this take-up lever here. So this is what takes the thread up and down. We're going to go around the bottom guide here, round and round the take-up lever. So that's threaded. And again, you could just floss if you wanted to, just to make sure that it's all in place. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to thread this guide here. Now to make it easier for yourself, just turn the hand wheel towards you, the side of the machine, and then you'll be able to go around that guide and pull it across really easily. Turn the hand wheel back up so that your needle's at its highest point, and then we're going to thread the needle with a needle threader. Next we're going to use the needle thread to thread the needle. So a little tip is to put the foot down at this point, and this anchors the thread. So now the thread's held tight, and it just makes it a little bit easier to use your needle threader. So with the, your finger bring this needle threader down, it needs to come down as far as it will go, and then push your finger to the back so that the little hook in the eye of the needle threader comes through the eye of the needle. So bring this down, push it all the way back as far as you can go so that the little hook is through the eye of the needle. And then take your thread under, so under here, and then across and under the hook. And let the the thread, leave it, pull the thread to the back, but leave it loose within your fingers so that when the needle threader hook comes backwards, it will pull the thread through as a loop. So just gently let it release and then it will pull the loop through and your needle threader, needle is threaded. Mm -hmm.